24. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, Be willed in your will to follow me. For I say, If any man or woman or child will will in their will to follow me, then I say that they find that it is much easier unto them. That is, in the sense that when you make up your mind and keep it made up, that it is me that you seek to please, obey, and follow after, I say you are willed in your will unto me. But I say, If you allow your will to go contrary to what it is that I desire and require of thee, then I say you live in falsehood and lies, and I say you will live in delusion and confusion because you are wanting your own way. Now I say it is senseless for those who are claiming that they are my people to war against me and their will and think somehow they will win over me. For I say if any man does not will himself to obedience unto me, to walk uprightly in me, then I say such a man is a fool. Now I say this day that I have been God never called thee to be a fool, to live, to die, to perish as a fool, not at all. But I say that I've called thee to walk uprightly, to come forth in truth, to light, the strength of who I am. And I say that I've called thee to be made glad that it is me who are privileged to love, to serve, and obey. So I say if you truly will will yourself in your will to obedience unto me, then I say that you are well pleasing unto me. Now I say in this wayward, perverse, vile, and wicked generation, there are endless multitudes who have taken up opposition to me. That is, they have taken up a way that I, the living God, never ever intended for them. And I say all the while they claim it is me that they serve, but it absolutely is not true. I say they are desperately needy of repentance, revolution in their lives. For I say they are living in delusional concepts put forth by crafty men in order to make them pray of the same. But I say that I, the living God, do not call men to be deluded, but I say that I call them to walk in the truth. And I say, when you are indeed willed in your will to obedience unto me, then I say you will love the truth. That is, even if the truth will damage your carnality, you will be thankful for the same. For I say you are not meant to live according to your own carnal understanding, but I say you are meant to live according to the dictates of my truth. Now I say, therefore, this day in a way with a vile, a corrupted, an evil generation, be thankful, ever thankful unto me. That is, be thankful for the truth, the light, the mercy that I give thee each and every day. And I say, be thankful that I will indeed purpose, direct, correct, and instruct thee, for yes, indeed, you are mine. And I say, be thankful that you can be coming forth, knowing that it is me you are meant to please, to serve, and obey. I say, this day, make it your practice each and every day to serve me in willingness, to serve me in gratitude, and to serve me in obedience, because it is me that you love. Now I say this day, if a man gives himself over to a longing, a lust, a love for the world, he is giving himself to lies. And I say that he will find himself taken far from the truth, the light, the strength that I provide. But I say if a man will adhere unto me and believe in me and trust in me always, then he is brought forth in my life. And yes, he has given the truth, the hope, the peace, the safety of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all blessedness, the way of all truth, and the way of mercy provided. Therefore, I say, continue ye as a steadfast people who are ever believing, trusting, and hoping in me. That is, ever being willing in your will to obey me, to walk in my way, and be ever thankful unto me. For I say, when you are indeed willed in your will, then repentance is not repulsive unto thee. But I say, when you are stubborn and proud, 
and defiant of my will, my way for your life, then I say you are always contending against me. I say it is stupidity to contend against me, for I say there is no man that prevails over me. I say it is wisdom to bend the knee to bow down low and walk uprightly in me. Now I say, therefore, this day be thankful that it is me, the living God, who has given unto thee the way of eternal life. And I say, be thankful that it is me, the living God, that you can continue to look to and to obey each and every day. I say, count it a privilege to be coming forth, count it a privilege to be directed and corrected by me. And I say, likewise, count it a privilege to be knowing that I am indeed thy life source, the one who is caring for thee. For I say, the more that you humble yourselves unto me and walk in my way, then the more you are directed in truth. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to live in the delusion of their own confusion and think somehow they get by. But I say that I call the ones who are truly mine to be coming forth uplifted and instructed by me. That is, ever given the blessedness of truth that I offer, ever given the way that is eternal life. And I say that I intend that the ones who claim they are mine would walk uprightly each day in me. Now I say, therefore, this day counted a privilege to keep on serving, to keep on loving, to keep on following after. And I say, counted a privilege to be uplifted in the truth, the light, the mercy, for I say, in the same you will find your strength. For I say, the more that you purpose in your will to walk uprightly in me, the clearer you become in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who gives thee the light whereby you can be guided in a sin-sick, a darkened world. Now I say this day, do not, absolutely do not give yourself over to the weariness of your own way. For I say when a man will want his own way, he is literally warring against me. And I say when any man or woman will make the claim that they are mine, yet take up the way of their own understanding, I say they are proven to be fools. For I say they are walking in a way that is far from me, and I say they are not a joy unto me. Now I say this day, if you will indeed be a joy unto me, then I say be yielded to my way. That is, be willed in your will to obedience unto me, for it is the way of my blessedness, my truth, and my life. And I say do not run from repentance when you are indeed needy each day of the same. But I say, realize that in humility service unto me is found the way that I provide. I say, this day you are living in dark times, you are living in evil times, but I say you are meant to shine forth as lights unto the same. That is, you are meant to be reflecting the light that is found in me, that those who are living in darkness can behold my light upon me. And I say you are meant to keep on shining because you are willed in your will unto me with all of your heart. That is, because you are dedicated, consecrated, separated unto me. Now I say this day there are many who are critical and lytical, but I say that they are full of disturbance in their lives. And I say it is because they are high-minded and proud of their own vain understanding, which is darkness according to me. For I say they think they know so much more than they know. They think through their thoughts they are superior to me. But I say the truth of it is they are merely blinded fools who have chosen their own way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to your own way, but I say that I call thee to the way of my life. And I say that I call thee to be thankful each day that it is me that you can be looking unto, believing, and trusting in. And I say that I call thee to be coming forth directed in that which I give thee, which is the eternal way of my blessedness unto thee. For I say, when you will your will to obedience unto me, then I say it is not a difficult, strenuous, impossible thing to follow me. But I say, as long as you allow your will to stand up on its own and follow after demon voices and follow after the ways of the world, I say you are working contrary to me. Now I say it is stupidity for a man to claim that he is mine, then work in opposition to me. But I say, when a man will really come into the fear of me, then I say that he's beginning in wisdom. That is, he's starting on the pathway that is the one that I ordain, where it is not his will that he desires at all. But I say, it is my will, my purpose, my plan for his life. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do offer to each and every one the way wherein they can be guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say, if the ones who are my people are accepting of that way, then I say they are brought forth in my joy. 
And yes, they are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, and the mercy each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever available to the ones who are indeed pliable in me. That is, the ones who will allow themselves to be molded and shaped as it pleases me, that they can be useful unto me. Now I say this day, consider that if any man or woman does not bend the knee, does not will their will to obedience unto me, then I say they are as a dead branch waiting to be burned. For I say the more stubborn and proud and defiant a man grows against me, the more useless he becomes. Oh yes, he may rebelliously go through the motions, pretending that he is adhering unto me, but I say it absolutely is not true. For I say that he's choosing the way of darkness, he's choosing the way of damnation of soul. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to choose darkness nor damnation, but I say that I call thee to choose the way of my salvation mercy. That is, through repentance, mercy, through repentance, revolution, each and every day, so do you continue to abide in the mercies that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the merciful. It is me, the living God, who is omnipresent. It is me, the living God, who is truth and life. And I say, if you continue adhering unto me, then you are brought forth by me. Now I say, this day counted a privilege to believe, to receive, to be ever purposed in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give thee, for yes, indeed, you are mine. And I say, be thankful each day that when you will continue to look to me, then you are ever guided by me. And yes, you are given the truth, the strength, the mercy, and the hope of who I am, for it is me, the living God, who is able. And yes, you will be brought forth because you are willed in your will to me. Now I say this day, consider the power of the will. If a man wills himself to obedience in me, then I say that he lives. But I say likewise, if a man wills himself to obedience to any other God, any other lover, even himself, he is willing himself to death. I say this day it is stupidity to make the claim that you love me, will serve me, and obey me, then be willed to death. For I say when you are willing to any other source other than me, you are willing to lies. I say this day be thankful for the truth, the light, the mercy that I, the living God, do offer unto thee, that you can indeed be a willing people, be seeking to please me in all that you do. For I say the more that you bend the knee to me, the more that you humble yourself before me, and obey, then I say, the more you are guided in my way. Now I say, there are those who can indeed put on a great show of repentance through their prayers and their manifestations that they are also humble before me. But I say, when it comes to the revolution of obedience, I say, they will not walk in the same. For I say, for a man to be truly in repentance, revolution, he must indeed will himself to obedience unto me. That is, when he's humbled himself and received my commands, then he must obey the same. And I say that he must put aside those things of the former life to take up the new things that are found in me. That is, that he can indeed be thankful for the privilege to believe, receive, and hope always in me. Now I say, therefore, this day do not be begrudging nor resenting what it is that I, the living God, require of thee, but I say, will your will to obedience unto me. And I say, be thankful for the truth, the light, the strength that I give thee each and every day. And I say, be thankful that you can indeed be brought forth, directed, corrected, and ever guided by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to thee the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, the mercy that I provide. And I say, when you are indeed a willing people, you will find your joy in serving me. Now I say, if you see a man or a woman who claims they love me, yet I say they are ever in a fit of despair and anguish and anger and rebellion, why is it so? I say it is because they have not submitted themselves through willing their wills to me. And I say they desperately need true repentance, revolution in their lives. Therefore, I say each day continue to repent, continue to walk humbly before me, continue to be thankful, to be willed. There's another map of the waterfall at the end of that. But you can't really take a look because it's just absolutely wet. You get stuffed on the way up here. Whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh, 
will from the flesh reap corruption. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God. by breath alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God.